viewers, welcome to the lucky 13th episode of KBTV. I'm Evie Barnard. And I'm Jai Nagaraj. This week, we'll explore the role competition plays in our school. We'll learn about the pair of sisters who duped it out in Keeling's 2018 Spelling Bee. We'll find out more about the recent awards our school publications have earned. Finally, we'll explore how the Keeling Boys basketball prepares for competition. All this coming up next on KBTV. Sisters Pranathi and Triantha Jamula found themselves in a tie during the final rounds. KBTV reporters Lucia O'Driscoll and Mackenzie Waldinger take us down the path to the final word. Football, soccer, and basketball we all know are competitive sports. But what about the competition of the month? This year's spelling bee started out normal. When only the two Jamula sisters were left, it took a turn. Pranathi went pretty far in the National B last year, and then when I saw her sister, I knew her sister was coming this year, and I went, oh no. I expected them to be neck and neck, but I did not expect it to be a tie. According to the National Spelling Bee rules, a school can only send one of them. Luckily, the two sisters worked it out. They decided that Pranathi would go to the next level. I'm definitely like trying, because this is my last year of competition, eighth grade, and I'm trying my hardest and like I've been studying a lot more uh, to get at least in the finals of the national Even though Pranathi is going to the next level, sisters are sisters, so Triatha is going to use RSVB, an alternative way to move on. Um, my sister was probably my biggest influence. This has been Mackenzie Waldinger reporting for KBTV. How spelltastic was that? V E R Y. Nice job. Good spellers make good writers, and room 236 in the journalism room is home to a number of them. Let's take you to Naomi Pearson with more about these award winning programs. It's well known that Keeling gets its fair share of awards for academics and sports. This time, however, Keeling's award recognitions go beyond and reach to our journalism program, Yearbook and Inkblot. The 2018 issues of both publications were among finalists in national competitions and will be awarded in April and March of this year. Photographs, writing, and artwork make up the pages of Yearbook and Inkblot. The recent recognitions by the CSPA in the Crown Competition and the NSPA for the Pacemaker Award are a testament to strong student work, but weren't a total surprise to a program that's been bringing awards for the past few years. The first time we won the award, I was in Denver at the convention and I was with my sister and we were sitting in the award ceremony, which is this really long award ceremony and I was kind of playing solitaire on my phone <laughs> and all of a sudden she hits me and she's like, look, I think that's your school they're saying. And I was like, what? And it was really exciting. Winning awards when competing against middle schools across the nation is a source of pride. But for Inkblot, it's even more so because in many cases, they compete against high school student work. We're really proud that we have such a great literary journal. It's really cool and it's something that I think is unique to Keeling as a middle school. And I think that it's a great way to showcase all of the diverse and like really talented students that we have. Receiving national honors has helped to earn a good reputation across the campus for both yearbook and inkblot, which are popular elective choices for students. One of the reasons that I actually signed up for yearbook because I saw that in the course description it said that we win a lot of high school level awards. These classes are responsible for important work and the close-knit group of students who works on publications makes them feel less like a team and more like a family. 
This has been Naomi Pearson reporting for KBTV. Thanks, Naomi. As a member of the KBTV news team, we know just how much work goes on behind the scenes to create a quality end product. The boys' basketball team does the same thing. With four practices a week and only one game, the team stays busy, this time preparing for their upcoming game against Burnett. Flynn Crawford and Samir Agarwal have more about this team. Keeling basketball is driven to do their best on the court. Even when a game does not go as planned, they are prepared to respond. Uh, competition encourages me as a basketball player because uh, whenever you miss, whenever you miss a miss a basket or do something, you have to sprint back on defense and make sure they don't score. The team's commitment contributes to the success, and eighth-grade players like Andy Wang understand the importance of the competitive spirit. I think it's a lot of competition just to, like, within yourself, just to be the best version of yourself to come together as a team. In a fast-paced game like basketball, the team needs to be prepared for anything. Uh, I surprised myself by, I stole the ball from someone and then ran down the court and scored a layup, so I was happy about that. In order to accomplish these feats, the team needs a strong leader, and for the 7th grade A team, that leader is Coach Jones. Uh, I say we are our biggest teammate. We're for ourselves, and we also got uh, we're also holding ourselves back. All of this comes together for a slam dunk on the court. This has been Flynn Crawford reporting for KBTV. The boys' basketball team is full of dedicated athletes. I'm excited to see all these rising basketball stars as the season continues. Coming up, Keeling students can learn about Miss Bergman's Grand Canyon trip that will provide a chance to see a different kind of star. Go to Miss Bergman for more information about this gorgeous trip. You bet, it sounds grand. And that's the end of our show. This has been Evie Barnard and Giant Agaraj. Thanks for watching KBTV, Keeling's number one source for news and information.